tender in my soul. He's a wonder in my soul. Bless his name. He's a wonder in my soul he's a wonder in my soul he's a wonder in my soul bless his name come on everybody stand my soul say yes, 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 oh Lord, yes, yes, oh Lord, yeah, my soul say yes, my soul. Yes, my soul say yes. Oh, my soul say yes. My soul say yes. Oh, my soul say yes. Yes, down in your heart. Yes. Yes, oh, yes, my God, yes, my, 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 yes, have your way, have your way. In my soul, 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 oh, 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 in my soul. Come on and thank the Lord, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, God, how we thank you this morning. How we thank you now, Lord. How we thank you right now. Hallelujah. We praise and magnify you today. Thank you, Lord. 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 So much to thank you for, God. We just thank you today, Lord. We just thank you right now. You've been our God, our help, and our strength all day. And we thank you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, God. You can do anything but fail. And we just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you for one more day. Thank you for one more day. Thank you for the more day that you've given us today, Lord. Thank you for health and strength today. We're able to come into the house of God. We're able to get up this morning. We're able to open our eyes. We're able to wave our hand. And we say, thank you, Lord. 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 There's none like you today, oh God. Thank you for your blessing, God. Thank you for food on the table. Thank you for clothes on our back. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for jobs. Thank you for income. Thank you for a way to take care of ourselves. We just want to say thank you, Lord. We don't take it for granted, Lord. You don't owe us anything, but we owe you everything, Lord. Without you, we can do nothing. Without you, we can do nothing. Without you, we can do nothing. 
So we give you praise this morning. Uh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We magnify your great name. We magnify your great name. We lift up your name. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we lift up your name. Oh, Lord, hallelujah. Have your way this morning now. Have your way this morning. You've met us every day this week. You have met us every morning, Lord. Early in the morning, you have met us here, Lord. You have outpoured. You have the outpouring upon our souls. You have poured out upon our life. And we thank you, Lord. Thank you for the showers of blessings. Thank you for the showers of blessing. Thank you for the showers of blessing. Thank you for the showers of blessing, Lord. Oh, Lord, how we thank you right now. There's none like you, Lord. There's nobody like you today. You have poured out upon our soul. Here we are, Lord, thirsty, but you poured out upon us. Here we are hungry, but you've given us food to eat from on high. And we want to thank you, Lord. And we want to thank you. And we want to thank you. Oh, Lord, we just want to thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Now, God, have your way this morning. Take control of everything, uh, all that we are, uh, all that we're not. God, have your way here. In the name of Jesus, uh, speak to our hearts this morning. Uh, speak to our minds this morning. Uh, speak to us today, Lord. Uh, we've come to lift up your holy name today. Uh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Now, Satan, we bind you uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, we bind you, Satan and cast you out in the mighty name of the Lord. The blood of Jesus cover today. The blood of Jesus cover now. The blood of Jesus cover today. The blood of Jesus cover now. In this house, in this place, upon our life. Let the blood of Jesus cover. Cover right now, Lord. Cover right now. Cover our life. Cover our homes. Cover our family. In the name of Jesus, uh, put a wall of protection uh, around our children. Uh, put a wall of protection uh, around our families. Uh, put a wall of protection uh, around them all. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. In your mighty and powerful name. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Now open your mouth and tell him yes. Come on. Come on and shout yes unto God. Come on and shout yes unto the Lord. Come on and shout yes to God. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yeah, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Out of my soul, I say yes. Down in my soul, I say yes, Lord. Oh, Lord, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, God, hallelujah. We just praise and magnify you. Now, Lord, we pray for those uh, who were not able to come. Uh, we pray for those that are sick, uh, for those that are shut in, uh, for those that had to move in other direction. Uh, but we pray for them now. Uh, so many of the saints uh, are tuned in this direction. Uh, so many of the saints uh, are looking toward the house of God and wherever they are touch them now wherever they are touch them now wherever they are touch right now woman God touch you man God touch you woman God deliver man God deliver young person God touch your mind God help you God be your strength today in the name of Jesus now, Lord, we thank you for it, and we give your name the praise, the glory, and the honor in the name of Jesus. Now, I want everybody right where you are. Let's just take the next two or three minutes, step into an aisle, and give God praise. My God, if you pass by somebody, tap them on the shoulder and tell them, be blessed. Come on, tell somebody else, be blessed, be blessed, be blessed. Be blessed, be blessed, be blessed. Come on, praise and worship team. Come right on, come on, come on, come on, praise and worship team. 
Those that's going to sing this morning, come right on. Praise the name of the Lord. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I know. I am blessed. Oh, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I am blessed. I don't deserve it, but yet I am blessed. Oh, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I am blessed. Oh, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I am blessed. Oh, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I am blessed. I don't deserve it, but yet I am. Come on, everybody together. Oh, I'm Look at somebody tell them, you are blessed, you are blessed, you are blessed, you are blessed. Oh, you are blessed, you are blessed, you are blessed. Oh, you are blessed, you are blessed, you are blessed, you are blessed. You don't deserve it, but yet. Hallelujah, God is faithful. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah, we bless you from the mountaintop. We bless you to the valley, Lord. You're worthy to be praised. There is none like you in all the earth. You are the king and you reign forever. You're strong and you're mighty. This song says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Come on, put your hands together if you don't mind. Give thanks, oh, give thanks unto, the unto the Lord, for He is good. Oh, He is good. Oh, yes, he is good. Is good. oh give oh, thanks give unto the Lord. The Lord. Whoa! 
scripture reading will come from Luke the 22nd chapter verse 1 through 6 and it reads now the feast of the unleavened bread drew nigh which is called the Passover and the chief priests and scribes sought how they might kill him for they feared the people then entered Satan into Judas surname Iscariot being of the number of twelve and he went his way and communed with the chief priests and captains how they might betray him betray him unto them and they were glad and covenant to give him money and he promised and sought opportunity to betray, to betray him unto them in the absence of the multitude may God have a blessing to the readers hearers and doers of his holy word Come on, here's come all of our choir members. Come on, come on. Praise the name of the Lord. Come on, choir. Come right on back. Praise the name of the Lord. Everybody else, turn around and give somebody a high five and tell them it's been good to be here. Come on, it's been good to be here. My God, hallelujah. What a blessing it's been to be in the house of the Lord. Glory to God. Aren't you glad you've been blessed this week? Aren't you glad you've been blessed on this week? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, let me hear some shout outs. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, bless the Lord. Come on, shout out, shout out with your voice. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah.
glory to God. Everybody stand. My God. Brother Tofri, I think we got to do that one more time so the, the whole church can sing it. Come on, let's do one more time. My God, come on, come on. Praise the Lord. May the Lord bless you this morning. What a wonderful morning to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. What a wonderful day to be in the house of the Lord. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Somebody help me shout early morning and I'm here. My God, I'm here early morning. May the Lord bless. It's been good to be here before daybreak. And uh, we've been here for the blessing of the Lord. This morning, I want you to join me. There's just one offering today. And I want you to join me. We have been so blessed by the man of God. He has blessed our hearts through this early morning service on this week. And I want him to know how much I appreciate him coming to bless the people of the Lord. It was my desire that God's people be blessed. And I think that has been exactly what has happened. Would you agree with that? My God. Yes, we have been blessed of the Lord. And this morning, Glad Tidings and those of you that are online that have been blessed. And just because you have not been in the sanctuary does not mean that you have not been blessed of the Lord. And I'm going to ask everybody, I'm going to ask everybody, whether you're online uh, are in the sanctuary to join with us in this just one offering today but if we've been blessed by the man of God we are going to release what God has given us to bless him as he continues in the ministry of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ I'm going to ask you to get your very best gift your very best gift and those of you that can share fifty dollars I want you to do that those ca that can share a hundred dollars I want you to do that and then everybody else, I want you to do your very best as we give and say to the man of God, thank you for coming our way. Amen, somebody. Amen. Remember that poor widow that was getting ready to die and her and her son were going to have the little bit that was left over? And he said, now wait a minute, before you do that, bring me a little first. And she trusted God and the man of God and she brought a little bit, and gave it, prepared for him. And from that, she never had to worry again because God met all of her needs in abundance. I want you to give what the Lord has given to you and bless the man of God. I'm going to pray. I've got a gift for Lady Macklin and I. I've got a gift of $500 for our family. But I want you to share the best gift you have for you and your family because your whole family has been blessed because you were here. Amen. Your whole family has been blessed because you were here I want you to get your best offering and when you have that would you please stand when you have your best offering would you please stand you can give online which is what I'm doing this morning those of you that are at home I want to challenge you you have not had to drive or been able to drive to come in but you've been blessed by the word of the Lord I want to challenge everybody that's listening at home. Praise God. Would you release that gift? I know 50 doesn't sound like a lot, but I want you to release that gift here on this day. I just believe God is going to bless us. And if you don't have that at home, give your best gift. But there's the way to give. But do not let this opportunity pass without giving. You've been blessed. Now let's bless the vessel that God has used to bless all of us. 
Now, whether you are giving with your telephone device or you're giving in another manner this morning of cash or checks or whatever you're using, I'm going to ask you to prepare to lift that up before the Lord right now. Lift that up before God. Praise the Lord. Lift it up before the Lord. God, in the name of Jesus, we lift up our hands and we raise God, whatever manner you are blessed us to give through. Would you bless now this offering? Bless the man of God as he continues to preach this gospel around the world. And then God bless your people, those who have been instruments of your blessing. You have blessed them to bless somebody else. Would you do it now in Jesus' name, God? May they know that because of this week, things have changed for the better in Jesus name I want you to say that with me because of this week things have changed for the better in Jesus name I receive my blessing now everybody's going to come if you're giving by telephone just come forward and touch the receptacles anyway no, please everybody come from wherever you are come forward come forward praise God bring your offerings your gifts now hallelujah bring them right there hallelujah glory to God hallelujah all over this house all over this house praise God what a tremendous tremendous response and a wonderful turnout of God's people this morning early in the morning praise God there will be a breakfast served after this service today praise God hallelujah that's it all over the house you're coming and you're blessing the man of the Lord through the way that God has given you to bless. God bless you, Brother Jones. Praise God. Hallelujah. That's it. That's it. That's it. I see Elder Patton here this morning and Sister Patton here this morning. My God. Hallelujah. Good to see them this morning from whichever direction they've come. God bless you all. Praise the name of the Lord. I want you to be blessed. This is a blessed church. I said, this is a blessed church. Now, Lord, receive in heaven what's been given upon the earth, and we'll continue to give your name praise and glory. In Jesus' name, thank God and amen. I have uh, time for just a 60-second testimony. Sister Tolfrey, that just blessed me this morning. Come up here right quick, Sister Tolfrey. This is going to encourage some other folk that have been... What a wonderful testimony this morning. Just bless my heart. Come right on. Good morning, glad tidings. I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. And I'm just here to testify of the goodness of God. I was at work, and one of my co-workers who are, was retired, him and I go to lunch once a month. And we were talking, he was asking me about, you know, what was going on. And I was telling him my church is getting ready to, you know, we built the youth center and we're trying to get the walkway and we're having people buy bricks. And he was like, oh, well, how much is the brick? I'm like, $1,000. He said, okay, here you go. He gave me $1,000 cash. So I just thank God for just asking and he blessed me. Praise the name of the Lord. And all God's people said amen. amen. I'm hoping this week that everybody that can, that's in a position to get your brick early. I know everybody's going to get one before it's over. But if you can get your brick early, would you do it this week? And you don't have to put it off. If you would do it this week, that would help us. And uh, you'd be surprised who will help you if you just ask. If you just ask. People are looking for a way to be blessed. And what a way to be blessed to put your name in the walkway of the church's uh, uh, new family life complex. It'll be there for years and years to come. Their family can see it. It's going to be a blessing. May the Lord bless you. Thank you so much. Everybody standing. It's time for the word of the Lord. I said it's time for the word of God. Bishop Hankerson, thank you so much, sir. You have been a blessing to this church. But you come this way, Bishop Hankerson, um, I've not done this very much. I can almost count the times that we've done this. But every now and then in the life of glad tidings over the last 40 
45 years, 46 years, every now and then, there have been those that have come that have just impacted our church in such a way that uh, we have extended a very special, special salute to them in that we have received them as honorary members of Glad Tidings Church. And um, you will receive, very soon, you will receive your certificate like all the other members. You can hang it on your wall next to all of your degrees and uh, put our certificate of membership there as an honorary member of Glad Tidings International Church of God in Christ. Would you receive our evangelist and our newest member of Glad Tidings? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, let's give our bishop a great big hand. Everybody. Clap your hands and let's thank God for the man of God. We truly appreciate him and what a blessing and honor it is to be here once again at Glad Tidings early in the morning. Many of you were here at 4.30 in the morning in obedience to the man of God. And how many know that you've got a great big blessing coming your way? So let's praise God again for the vision of our leader. As we get ready to pray, I want you to turn to 1 John chapter 2 and let us stand behind that vision of the leader for this house. Amen. I'm going to be getting my brick as the newest member. I'm going to be getting my brick in memory of my late wife, Rachel L. Hankerson. So let's make sure that we stand and we support this great vision. Let's praise God for Bishop and Lady Macklin. Come on, give them both a great big hand. We appreciate them so much for their kindness and what they've meant to my family for about the last 40 some odd years we have been close to the Macklin family we also want to thank God for Pastor Aaron Macklin I believe that is in the sound booth let's give him a, there he is yes let's give him a great big hand everybody all of the elders and all of the saints I know that I have you clapping I have you turning around I have you looking in the Bible but can you do one more thing get your phone out right now and I want you to go to glad tidings church of God in Christ and I want you to share this webcast with someone right now let them know that I'm at church at 5 30 in the morning I am here I am here wide and awake praising and magnifying God here with this preacher that can preach at three o'clock in the morning and preach on until 12 midnight I come to tell you there's nothing better than having church and having some more church somebody help me praise God come on in here and let's give God praise while you're looking at that phone and and sending out this webcast here there and everywhere I feel church up in here today my God we're going to pray and I want you to share the webcast and we're going to first John chapter 2 verses 1 through 2 and again thank you so much for this open door thank you for this hospitality thank you so much for allowing me to come home uh, here on the west coast born and bred on the west coast and it's great to be here back at home and specifically as the newest member of the glad tidings church of God in Christ come on let's praise God for our church Father, we thank you and we do give you praise and glory and we magnify you for giving us this opportunity to share your gospel. God, we thank you that your word says, woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. I thank you, God, that I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. Praying today, dear God, that you would save, heal, and deliver. I've seen you do it and I know that you're able to do it right now. Do it for your people and I'll be careful to give you the praise yes God I'll clap my hands yes God I'll testify yes God I'll lift you up yes God I'll worship you yes God I'll magnify you and I will tell others oh magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together we exalt your name we extol your name we lift you up and we give you praise on today in Jesus name let me say thank God come on and say thank God and shout amen first john chapter two i feel that hit that note again hit it in the e flat hit that in the e flat because i feel some east st louis church in here today somebody open up your mouth and say when i think of the goodness of jesus and all that he's done for me my soul cries out hallelujah i thank god that he saved me and he atoned for my sins that's what this text is about we heard the other day from paul we heard yesterday from peter now let's hear from the apostle john the bible says in first john chapter 2 my little children these things write i unto you that ye sin not 
And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. And he is the propitiation. Help me say that big word. Propitiation. Everybody say it. That means atoning sacrifice for our sins and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. I want to talk for these next few fleeting moments from this subject, the atoning sacrifice. Help me say the atoning sacrifice. Open your mouth and say the atoning sacrifice. Let's praise God for the sacrifice that Jesus made for us on the cross. Now listen, I'm going to need to enlist the help of the altar workers because I have to catch a flight at a certain time and that flight is not going to wait, but I want to make sure that everybody has hands laid on them today because God is a miracle worker. I was just in Benin, the Republic of Benin, West Africa, and there in West Africa, I saw God work miracles. A man came in the prayer line and said, I want to receive my sight. And how many know we laid hands on him in Jesus name and God opened up his eyes. God can work a miracle for you today. Come on, open up your mouth and say, my miracle is in the house today. Well, as we talk about the atoning sacrifice, and you can remain standing with me the next 30 minutes or take you a little break before we go into praising God even more, but I want you to know atonement literally means to cover for our sins. How many know that Jesus covered the price for our sins? He was the ransom. He shed his blood so that we could be delivered not only from sin, but also from the penalty of sin. I told you on the first day that Romans 3 and 23 says, y'all have sinned and falling short of the glory of God. Some of you are shaking your head. That's not what the Bible said. The Bible didn't say y'all have sinned. The Bible says all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And then Paul picked it up in Romans chapter 6 verse 23 where he said the wages of sin is death but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord and our Savior. Lift your hand and say thank God for Jesus. How many know that he he is the one that came and died in our place. He was our substitute. The penalty was upon him. But Jesus said, prepare me a body. And as a result of that, he said, lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me to do thy will, O God. And that's what we celebrate on this week. When you talk about a Holy Week revival, we remember what Jesus did for us on the cross. Yes, how many know that the Jews would remember once a year how God brought the Israelites out of Egypt but how many know that we can never forget how God redeemed us as a matter of fact we are called to be a witness open up your mouth and say I'm called to be a witness for Christ you may not have credentials you may not have a title but if you have a testimony we are to tell somebody else that God is a delivering God open up your mouth and say Jesus you're the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. If he healed back then, he can heal right now. If he delivered back then, he can deliver right now. How many know the anointing has not changed? The power of God has not changed. Jesus told his disciples, he said, I want you to go to Jerusalem, and I want you to wait until you be endowed with power from on high. Realize if you're baptized in the Holy Ghost, you have the same anointing that Peter had. You had the same anointing that Paul had. Open up your Bible and look at Acts chapter 19 where it talks about that Paul was so anointed that they would take aprons and handkerchiefs and place them on his body. And those that came in contact with the aprons and handkerchiefs were healed and demon spirits were cast out. The Bible lets us know that Peter was so anointed that people would lay sick into the streets and they would expect that the shadow of Peter passing over them would cause them to be healed from their sickness and disease. Somebody open up your mouth and help me quote Isaiah 53 and 5. He was wounded for my transgression. He was bruised for my iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes we are healed. I come to tell you the apostle John is letting us know that Jesus is that sacrifice that makes us right with God. Paul said it this way, it's not of works. Let 
lest any man should boast. He is the one that paid the price for us. When you look at 1 John, the first chapter, in the ninth verse, it says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sin and then to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. But people will look at that and say, well, that's a license for us to sin. So how many know that John had to let them know this is not a license for you to sin? I write these things that you sin not. How many know that that is a unique doctrine of the church of God in Christ? How many of you thank God for this grand old church of God in Christ? Somebody may say, well, Hankerson, I know what our distinctive doctrine and practice is. We're a hand clapping, tongue talking, foot stomping, Pentecostal church. But how many know that in 2024, everybody is hand clapping? Everybody is talking in some kind of tongue. My God, people are making up tongues. But the distinctive doctrine of this church is we believe in the sanctifying power of the Holy Spirit by whose indwelling the Christian is enabled to live a holy and separated life in this present world. We are in the world, but not of the world. The Bible said there's a difference between clean and unclean and holy and unholy. Oh, come on at 538 in the morning. Will you point to your neighbor and quote to them? Leviticus 11 and 44. Say, neighbor, you shall therefore sanctify yourself and you shall be holy because God is holy. Open up your mouth and say, I can do all things through Christ that gives me strength. Yeah, I know there's some of you that are looking at me. They're watching on the internet and you'll say, well, it's not possible for us to live that kind of life in this world that we're in. We have to sin every day. Well, how many know this if you live this life in the flesh? But Paul said in Galatians chapter 2 verse 20, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I but it's Christ that lives on the inside of me. We have to allow that old man to be crucified so that the new man can come forth. Because the Bible says if any man be in Christ, he's a brand new creature. All things are passed away and all things are become brand new. Lift your hand and say, Lord, I thank you that I've been made brand new. Well, saints and friends, as we look at the text today, I know I got to catch the plane, but I feel like preaching right Right now, I feel like having midnight revival here at 5.45 in the morning. Somebody lift your voice and give God praise. As we look at the text today, we find a man that's been transformed by the power of God. I want you to know that John the Apostle can testify and let us know that God can transform your life. You have to understand that John was the one that was closer to Jesus than anybody else. Come on, grab a neighbor say neighbor walk with me now you have thousands of folks that followed Christ and out of the thousands of folks that followed him Luke chapter 10 lets us know that there were 70 special messengers that Jesus gave power to in Luke chapter 10 he let them know behold I give you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means harm you come on look at a neighbor and say let's get a little bit closer the Bible says out of those thousands of folks and out of those 70 people he had 12 apostles and they were to represent him and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ but out of the 12 he had an inner circle come on to Sunday school now he had Peter James and John they were there with him in special times I wish I could have been there saints up on the Mount of Transfiguration Peter James and John up there with him and he was transfigured before them they heard the voice of the father the father began to speak out and said this is my beloved son y'all close your mouth and listen to what he has to say John says in first John chapter 1 you can't tell me about Jesus you can't tell me who he's not because I saw him for myself I experienced him for myself how many know saints and friends folk can argue with our theology they can argue with our doctrine they can argue with our beliefs but you can't argue with my testimony 
testimony because you don't know like I know what God has done for me. Man, help me get to the plane now. Come on, open up your mouth and say, I got a testimony of what God has done in my life. Have I got a witness? The Bible lets us know that out of that inner circle, that John was the closest one to Jesus Christ. Walk with me now. On that night in the upper room, when Jesus was betrayed, the Bible let us know that John was leaning on Jesus as Jesus looked around and said on this night all of you will forsake me on this night one of you will betray me he looked up to Jesus and said Lord is it I he was right there with him walk with me now as Jesus went from judgment hall to judgment hall paying the price for you and I have I got a witness he's up there on the cross but even on the cross he had compassion upon his mother can you imagine what was going through Mary's mind what was going through her heart and spirit her heart was broken this is the baby that she had had he was born in Bethlehem of Judea and she's looking up and seeing her baby blood coming out his hands blood coming out his feet but Jesus looked at John and said son take care of my mother mother here is your son can you imagine Jesus had half brothers he had family but Jesus said I'm not leaving my mama in the hands of my brothers but I'm leaving her in the hands of John can you imagine how much the son of God trusted John look up to heaven now and say God I know I can trust you but my question is can you trust me to give you glory can you trust me to live for you how many know that as close as John was to Jesus family he never took him for granted lift your hand saints and say God help me me not to take you take you for granted let me remember what you done for me God help me to stay on fire have I got a witness I can hear some of the saints now say Hankerson as a matter of fact Bishop Macklin I've had saints tell me they say man you got the chain you got the title you're on the general board you don't have to preach so hard you don't have to go after God so hard but saints and friends how many know that God didn't save us to get a title God didn't save us to get a position but God saved us to live for him open up your mouth and say Jesus no matter how you bless me I'll never forget what you done for me I'll never forget how you brought me out I'll never forget how you changed my life don't let nothing steal your praise I remember coming up in Tacoma Washington one of the mothers looked at me said Hankerson whatever you do don't let nothing stop you from dancing don't let nothing stop you from praising God have I got a witness grab a neighbor by the hand and said neighbor before I had anything all I had was a praise praise brought me through praise brought me out because God inhabits the praise of his people come on glad tidings help me praise him help me lift him up because nobody can do me like him nobody can love me like him lift your hand thank God for your salvation thank God for the Holy Ghost thank God for the blood of Jesus say it say yeah somebody say yeah come on and say yeah 
Come on and say, yeah. Give him praise and glory. Got to close now. Lean on somebody. Say, oh, neighbor. We got to close now. But we got to go to Mount Calvary. Ain't God all right? We got to go to the place where we gave it life for you and I. Walk with me now. Look at the apostle and look at John. By this time that John writes this letter, the temple in Jerusalem is torn down. Walk with me now to the old covenant, Exodus, and the book of Leviticus. Do I have a witness? We ought to thank God that we're under a new covenant. We're under a new testament. In the old testament, they had 613 laws. Walk with me now. Every last one of us in this place, if we were under the old covenant, all of us would be sinners. Do I have a witness? Is there anybody here that's ever worked on Saturday? Lift your hands. If you worked on Saturday, every last one of us would have been stoned to death. Do I have a witness? Is there anybody here has mixed clothing? Polyester and cotton. Lift your hands. All of us would have been an abomination unto God. Lift your hand. If you ate catfish, lift your hands. If you ate shrimp, lift your hands. If you ate crab legs, all of y'all would have went to hell. Have I got a witness? You'd have been cut off from the people of God. But if you committed sin in the old covenant, you had to grab a lamb, a bullock, a pigeon, or a turtle dove. Had to kill it. Take off his neck. Take off his head. Pour out the blood upon the altar. Burn it up as a burnt offering. But I can hear somebody in this book, St. John, as you tell us about Jesus. The temple in Jerusalem was torn down in the year 70. And now we are 60 years after the death of Jesus Christ. What are we going to do about the sin problem? John, we can't go to Jerusalem and offer a lamb because there's no temple, no priesthood there. What are we going to do? But I heard John say to be forgiven, you don't have to go to Jerusalem. You don't have to go to the Holy Land because there's a lamb that gave his blood and he was shed of his blood from the foundation of the world right here right now God can forgive your sin God can cleanse you from everything not like God look at a neighbor and say neighbor I'm not the same person I used to be y'all look at that neighbor and say neighbor I've been changed by the blood of the lamb have I got a witness I have kindness that I'm speaking I have kindness in my heart and John to testify that God will turn your life around because before God changed his life the apostle John had a temper problem is there anybody here ever got hungry anybody here ever got upset Lift your hand and say, Lord, help me to overcome my temper problem. Lord, help me to love everybody. Lord, help me to forgive everybody. Because Jesus said, it doesn't matter how you tap dance in church. It doesn't matter how you beat the tambourine in church. It doesn't matter even how you preach behind the pulpit. By this will the world know you're my disciples because you have love in your heart open up your mouth say God help me 
to love my enemies. Help me to love them that despitefully, despitefully use me. Have I got a witness? I know preachers, we're in a time now where so many preachers are preaching about haters. If my haters could see me now, if my haters could see this and say that, but Jesus didn't tell us to preach on haters. I heard Jesus when he said, if you don't forgive those that have wronged you, then I won't forgive you. Somebody open up your mouth. Say, God, in this revival, take unforgiveness out my heart. Take bitterness out my heart. Take resentment out my heart. Take revenge out my heart. You forgave me. God, help me to forgive everybody that's hurt me. Open up your mouth. Say, I'm not leaving the same way I came. I didn't come to this revival. I heard Lady Macklin say, there's some of you that drove over the mountain. Some of you came an hour away. I didn't just come to look at you. I didn't just come to have church, but I came to be transformed by the renewing of my mind. Open up your mouth. Say, God, turn it around in my life. If you find anything not like you, take it out. Because I heard when you said, if my people, which are called by my name, humble themselves and pray, seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, I'll hear from heaven, forgive their sin and heal their land. Yes, sir. How many know John could testify? Look at somebody and say, God, I want him to forgive me and forgive you. Look at your neighbor. Grab him by the hand. Say, neighbor, I forgive you. Will you please forgive me? Look how quiet this church is getting. Go grab somebody. Walk across the room if you have to do it. And look at them. Eyeball to eyeball contact. Say, neighbor, forgive me. And I forgive you. Now go to praise and God. See, that's when you can shout. See, that's when you can shout. Have I got a witness? Have I got a witness? I heard John say that God put forgiveness on the inside inside of me because the first time we look at John and look at his life the Bible lets us know that there was one town that rejected the message of Christ James and John got together had a meeting with Jesus and said Jesus do you want us to blow the place up do you want us to burn the place up how many know that that's what's in you before the atonement washes you before the atonement cleanses you that's what happened before the cross but after after the cross I heard John say beloved let's love one another for love is of God and everybody that's born of God they love for God is love have I got a witness have I got a witness I got to close I got to close but as I close lift your voice say God change me like you changed John take me higher like you took John and took him higher as we look at the text by this time James is gone by this time Mary is gone by this time Jesus has ascended by this time all the other apostles they've been martyred John 
is by himself. 90 years old. He could have been bitter. He could have looked around and said, I'm bitter because everybody's gone. The Bible lets us know that they banish this old man to Patmos Island. Can you imagine being a senior citizen on an island in the middle of the Mediterranean, in the middle of the darkness by yourself out there with the wild animals? John could have said, I hate everybody. John could have said, I was done wrong. John could have said, I gave my life to this ministry. And this is the things that I get. Look what I'm dealing with. But John said, I'm not bitter. My sins have been atoned for. And Revelation lets us know that John said, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. I got under the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I got under the power of God. I got under the glory of God. And when I looked around, I didn't see all my problems. When I looked around, I didn't see all my burdens. When I looked around, I saw nothing to complain about. When I looked around, I didn't see my valley. When I looked around, I didn't see my mountain. But I looked around because I heard somebody calling my name. Touch your neighbor. Say, neighbor, hush. Somebody is calling my name. I heard John say, when I looked around, his eyes were like a flame of fire his feet were like burnished brass his hair was like lamb's wool opened up his mouth said I am the one that was dead behold I live forevermore I got the keys of death hell and the grave I got two minutes to go to Calvary grab somebody say neighbor one Friday when I was lost, he died. Y'all ain't gonna go to Mississippi. Grab somebody. So he died on that cross. Died. Shed his blood. Died. The sky got black. Died. He paid the price. Have I got a witness? I heard him when he said, It is finished. Somebody said, Surely he died on Calvary. Say, Open up your mouth and testify and help me say, I don't know why he loved me. I don't know why he came. I don't know why he sat fights his life for me but I'm glad that they whipped him all night long I'm glad they betrayed him I'm glad that Pilate said I find no fault in him I'm glad they opened up their mouth and said crucify him because if he never made it to the cross the blood wouldn't be shed I'd still be lost I'd still be in my sin. I'd still be in my grief. But surely he's borne our griefs, carried our sorrows. We esteemed him smitten of God and afflicted. He came to his own and his own received him not. Say yeah. But I heard, I heard the master say, if I be lifted up, I'll draw men unto me. Come on, glad tidings. Help me lift him up. Come on, saints. Help me lift him up. Because he said, if I be lifted up from the earth unto me. Got to close and get out of here. Somebody get my Bible. Because I got to get out of here. I got to close. I got to catch Delta Airlines.
I got to fly across the country and get to the other side. But I can't help but be glad that he died for me. I can't help but be glad he shed his blood. I can't help but be glad that he told him that I must go to Jerusalem. I got to go to that place. I've got to go and shed my blood. For a man named Hankerson, I don't know about y'all, but it's a personal thing. I know he died just for you, but if I was the only person on the face of this earth, I come to tell you he would have died just for me. When we talk about the atonement, it's Jesus dying in our place. I got the clothes, but can I? my testimony of what God revealed to me three years ago my wife was diagnosed with stage 4 cancer anybody that knows the Hankerson family knows the fact that we're close like this and anybody knows if you want to hurt Hankerson if you want to destroy him if you want to take him out mess with his wife mess with his kids I come to tell you my wife and I were tight like that my family and I were tight like that but the devil said if I can destroy Hankerson's family this is the end of his ministry this is the end of him preaching the gospel this is the end of him talking about the blood of the lamb and I remember Lady Macklin and I see you my wife sitting there unconscious on the hospital bed I had a conversation with the Lord and I told God I said God she's only 47 years old I said God you bless me I've had a great life a great ministry great opportunities great family I said God she has more to do I said God take the sickness take the death sentence off of her and place it upon me I said take me cause I'm ready don't let her go out like this and God spoke to my heart he said Hankerson you've been preaching the gospel all these years but now you understand the gospel message because when there was a death sentence upon humanity Jesus said take the death sentence off of them and place it upon me I'll pay the price I'll give my life and I don't know about you but I'm glad that Jesus stood and died in my place and because he died because he was buried but because he arose up the third day with all power in his hand I could have given up three years ago but I'm here because he lives because he lives I can face tomorrow because he lives all my fear is gone because he lives I have my joy because he lives I have my testimony my testimony remains the same I've been to hell and back been through storms and high water been through everything sickness and pain but I can testify to you Pastor Macklin in that booth that my testimony is still the same every time I turn around God is blessing me somebody help me praise him turn around in a circle go to five people say neighbor every time I turn around God is still blessing God still working miracles God still making ways God has me in his hand turn around and give him praise because there's a blessing coming your way there's a miracle coming your way there's favor coming your way say yeah 
I need you to make your way because I'm six minutes over make your way down to the altar and while you come come with a praise while you come magnify God because God spoke to me and told me there's a miracle that's coming to my house say yeah the devil told me I bet you'll never turn around again I bet you'll never testify again but I come to tell you I can still testify every time I turn around God is blessing me say yeah about to go Bishop Macklin but as I go God spoke to me and he told me after my wife passed he said Hankerson I got a problem with you I said my God what have I done now I've stood the test I've stood the time what have I done now God said the problem I got with you Hankerson is when you turn around you turn around in this little bitty circle and he told me do you realize you've been faithful through the storm you didn't give up you held your faith you held your integrity you walked in holiness he said don't get ready for a little blessing but get ready for a great big circle of blessings coming your way more than you have room to receive come on I gotta catch that plane but turn around take me to church turn around Put your foot in it. Put your foot in it. Glory to God. My, 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 my. Go ahead and praise Him. Go ahead and give the Lord praises for Him. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah.
Glory to God. Woo! Everybody lift your hands and shout unto the Lord. Lord, fill me with your spirit. 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 Holy Ghost, have your way in my soul. Holy Ghost, have your way in my soul. Holy Ghost, have your way in my soul. Right now, Lord. Right now, Lord. Right now, Lord. Right now, Lord. Now go ahead and give God some praise there. Woo! Come on, come on, come on. Open up your mouth and let Lord have it with you. The power of God is in this house right now. Everything you want, God is here. Everything you need, God is here. Everything you want, God is here. Everything you need, God is here now. Hallelujah. Oh, 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 oh. oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, 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 oh. Lift your hands and say with me, Lord Jesus, I receive everything you send my way right now. Come on, Lord Jesus, I receive your blessings. I receive your strength and I receive your word. I've got it right now. It's down on the inside. I want to live for you. I want to live for you with everything that I have. I want to live for you with all that I have in the name of Jesus my soul said yes to thee now come on clap your hands before we hallelujah 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 listen I want to talk to both of these young ladies right here right now praise the name of the Lord hallelujah Tell me what the Lord is doing for you right now. Removing this, this hornea and this issue with blood that I've been battling with. And he spoke to me, he told me if I come and I trust him, that he will remove it. Like the, like the woman that when she touched the hem of his garment. You believe God? Yeah. She's believing God for a specific. There's something in her body that needs to be removed. And I believe God. What about you? Come on and shout, I believe you, God. Let it be done now. A miracle in this house. Remove it now. Remove it now. In the name of Jesus. Heal her body today. Heal her body now. Heal her body today. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. If you believe God for a miracle, clap your hands for it. If you believe God for a miracle, clap your hands. If you believe God, oh, hey, 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 hey. Woo! Hallelujah! Oh, Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The Lord brought you here this week. You've been coming in the mornings, but God brought you here for a purpose. Why do you think God brought you here? What's God doing? You know God is up to something? You know you're right in the middle of it, don't you? God has his hand on you, young lady. God has his hand on you. God has his hand on you. In the name of Jesus. Woo! Glory. In the name of Jesus. Now, Lord, do what you only can do. You brought her here for a reason. You brought her here for a reason. Now work in her a miracle. Work in her now. Work in her now. Work in her now. Come on, somebody help her praise the Lord. It's all right. It's all right. I believe God wants to fill you. Would you like to be filled with the Holy Ghost? Would you like to have the Spirit of God going up and down? Lord, in the name of Jesus, this young lady wants the Holy Ghost. And we lay hands on her this morning that she would receive the Holy Ghost.
that she would receive the Holy Ghost. Lord, baptize her now. Lord, baptize her now in the Holy Ghost. Baptize her now, Lord Jesus, in the Holy Ghost with the signs of speaking in tongues. And in the name of Jesus, receive the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, receive the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, there it is. There he is there. Everybody clap your hands with it. Clap your hands for it. And the Lord Jesus fill you with the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is at work here. I believe that we praise Him. The Holy Ghost is at work. Somebody's being filled with the Holy Ghost right now. Somebody's being filled with the Holy Ghost right now. Somebody's being filled with the Holy Ghost with the signs of speaking in tongues. Somebody's being filled with the Holy Ghost. Somebody's being filled with the Holy Ghost. Somebody's being filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Ghost is upon them now. The Holy Ghost is filling them right now. The Holy Ghost is coming right there. The Holy Ghost is coming out of your belly. And it does not just need to be one person, but out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Out of your belly will flow rivers of living water. Out of your innermost being, the Holy Spirit is flowing right now. Come on and shout, have your way, Holy Ghost. Have your way, Holy Ghost. Have your way, Holy Ghost. Have your way now. Have your way, Holy Ghost. Holy Spirit, have your way. Holy Spirit, have your way. Holy Spirit, have your way. Holy Ghost, have your way. Holy Ghost, you need. Come on and shout, fill me again. Fill me again. Fill me again. And again, and again, and again, Holy Ghost, have your way now. Holy Spirit, have your way there. Holy Spirit, have your way there. Yes, 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 yes. Oh! Oh! Holy Ghost, have your way. Holy Spirit, have your way. Holy Ghost, have your way. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Holy Spirit, have your way here now. Holy Spirit, have your way here now. Holy Ghost, have your way here now. The Holy Spirit is moving right now. The Holy Ghost is having his way right now. The Holy Ghost is having his way right now. The Holy Spirit is having his way right there. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory. Glory, 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 glory. Now what do you think is happening right now? What do you think is happening right there? You've never had this before? Mm. You have. This is different. This is, different. This is, this is a new environment. <laughs> well, receive all that God has for you. 
receive all that the Lord has for you. Everybody give the Lord a praise for him. You know what? You look different. You look different now. You, you look different now. You got a smile on your face. There's a joy that looks like it's down on the inside. Mm. Anything you want to say for Jesus? Go ahead and say it. I just thank him so much. I, 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 all I can do is thank him because I don't know it's... Woo! Somebody say joy unspeakable and full of glory. Come on one more time. Joy unspeakable and full of glory. I had her grandmother to come out. She's working preparing breakfast for us so breakfast may be a little bit delayed because her grandmother was in here. Hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Yes, you can say one thing. When my baby was born, the Lord, that's my granddaughter, he put something in her. And you know, when most babies are born, they have that little soft spot in the head hers was sealed up so whatever god put in her he put it in her before he sent her down here that fold was closed it was closed in the top of her head so it's in the bishop it's in her all right i'll take that come on and say man i'm so happy for every one of you that's been here uh but sister donnelly would you give a testimony on behalf of all of the guests that's been with us this week I can't hear from everybody but would you represent them pray we're so glad to have you here I give on to God and all his presence I thank the Lord for my being here after being here I can say that I'm saved and sanctified and filled with the precious Holy Ghost and that would fire I'm just so happy that I was able to rise this morning and come and worship with you and hear a good message a soulful message, one that could reach down to the bottom of my feet. I had a lot of um, desires. I had a lot of things that I wanted to leave here. So, Bishop, if you see stuff running around, that's my problems. Because they're here. They're here. I'm not going to take them back with me. Pray my strength in the Lord. Come on, say amen. The Lord bless you. Everybody's standing. Everybody's standing. So glad to see Sister Rhonda here. Precious, God bless you. The Lord love you. We love you. Glad to see you here. You know, that's a good example, Sister Rhonda Hayes. That's a good example. When you go through life problem, don't run away from God. Run toward God. Everybody with me now? And one of the first things the devil tells you, don't go to church. Don't be around all them folk. You better get by yourself and figure this out. Most of us know that our figuring is what got us in trouble in the first place. Amen, somebody. Because we were trying to figure it out, and that got us into more trouble. Amen. When you get in trouble, head toward the house of God. When you get in trouble, head toward the house of God. And when you get here, don't sit all the way in the back. Get as close to the front as you can. Because I want God to answer my prayer. I want God to know that I want to be right in the center of his will. And I want his will to be in the center of my life is there anybody here today you're not a member of this church but you want to be won't be the first time I receive members at five o'clock in the morning or six o'clock praise the name of the Lord anybody does not know the Lord praise God for those of you that are at home praise God maybe you've been watching just say with me Lord Jesus here I am and I need you right now forgive me of all of my sins of everything I've ever done that's not like you. Change me, Lord, and make me the person you want me to be. I receive you as my Lord and Savior, and I will live for you the rest of my life. Lord Jesus, thank you for saving me. Thank you for delivering me. Thank you, Lord. I receive now I welcome now the Holy Ghost. Fill me now 
with your spirit. In Jesus' name, thank God and amen. While you're standing, let me just give you a couple of observations and then we are free to go to the fellowship hall. Uh, no need to sit down and I'm not going to even ask you to turn around one more time. Praise God. Did we not enjoy our... The man is a preacher from his heart and he preached here today and by 8 o'clock tonight he'll be preaching in Rhode Island. My God, that's some kind of travel, isn't it? Praise the name of the Lord. So may the Lord bless all of you. Let me just say to you that on this coming, this coming, um, uh, of, let me see, Friday at 12 noon, the seven last words will be shared with our own ministers and missionaries in this church. And if you can get off, if you are off, don't just sit at home, don't go shopping. Uh, after you told your boss you were taking off a good Friday service, come on to church amen at 12 noon and be here it's going to be a great service in the lord at 12 o'clock noon here at glad tidings and then i want to say on saturday we have much going on on saturday saturday morning saturday morning at uh, 11 o'clock i will be right here at 11 o'clock to take those who want to go with me and i hope i'm not trying to take the whole church I don't, I, everybody don't have to go i just need the first 75 people to come and go with me all right and we're going to be all over, all over Hayward in different places, passing out our tracks and flyers and giving people an invitation to church and uh, a big smile and letting them know that God loves them. We're going to be a witness. Amen. We're going to be a witness. And if the Lord opens doors for us to pray for somebody, we're going to do that as well. Amen, somebody. And uh, we're going to be a witness for the Lord on Saturday morning at 11 o'clock. So I want the evangelism team, which is everybody that's in this church. Everybody in here, you're on the team. At the same time, our young people will need help. They're going to be having, what time does that start, Brother Andre? I saw him here this morning. At 11 o'clock, uh, we need another 75 to help the young folk over at the Easter egg uh, hunt and the fellowship for children. And they're, they're due to be in the uh, Weeks Park, which is just right around the corner. All right, if it starts to rain or anything like that, they'll just switch over and come back on this side and we'll make it work. Is that all right? We ain't gonna fall out if it rains. All right, so that's where we are. After that, in the afternoon, there'll be much going on here in preparation for Easter Sunday services. We'll be setting up, the deacons and brothers will be setting up our tables in different places, the courtyard. There's going to be so much happening on Sunday. Is that all right? Those of you that are coming early on Sunday morning to help us in getting set up, there'll be something for you to do. If you want to come early, we'll have some, uh, we'll have some refreshments and early morning stuff for you uh, starting at about 7.45 in the morning, and we'll have it available, and you can do that while you're helping us to get ready and put everything in place and enjoy the fellowship. And then by 9 o'clock, we're going to be ready to go. Is that all right? We ought, to be ready for, we ought to be ready for Easter after, after this week. How many are going to be ready? God bless your hearts. Thank you. You have been wonderful. Glad tidings. You've been absolutely great this week. Thank you so much. You've just encouraged my heart. Come on, give the Lord a hand praise. Praise the Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you so very, very much. May God bless you. May God keep you. Let me give you a benediction from this service. And then I want to bless the food in advance. And uh, be, be patient with them there. But they're they trying to get something for everybody to get a little bit. All right? Now you won't be able to eat like you at, um, at, at Black Bear. All right? A Brown Bear. Whatever that bear's name is. All right? But you'll have enough to tie you over. Okay? It'll get you to lunchtime. That's for sure. Praise God. And we'll share with each other. Dear God, we love you today. And we thank you. Would you now, Lord, bless the food that's been prepared. Thank you for that. And God, bless the people of the Lord who've been in this early morning revival. Keep them and continue to give them strength. May they be strengthened by these services. And then prepare our hearts for Sunday that we might have an outpour from heaven again. And we'll give your name praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Thank God and amen. Be sure to speak to somebody that's nice. It's been good to see you early in the morning, huh? I can't hear you. Yeah, yeah, you did. Maybe, yeah, you've done well. Hey, man, how are you 
you doing? What brings you here? Um, I'm originally from Bakersfield. I can't come here. We have day and night. I don't know. I ain't going here. <laughs> I love this. You can't be coming here.